What's the best rosin to buy and how often should you use it? Keep watching to find out. If we haven't met yet, hi, I'm Megan. I'm a violinist and teacher currently based in New Jersey. I've been playing the violin for over 20 years. I have both my bachelor's and master's degrees in violin performance, and I'm a Suzuki trained teacher. So I have a good amount of experience in this area. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel and go ahead and follow me on Instagram for all the free tips and tutorials at Suzuki Violin Teacher. Welcome to Rosin 101. In this video, I will discuss what rosin is, why we use it, how often you should use it, how to apply it, and what the best type of rosin to buy is, in my opinion. So what is rosin? Rosin is essentially hardened tree sap. So think of maple syrup. Rosin comes in that form. It is a sticky liquid substance extracted from trees. Then it is heated and formed into the rosin cakes that you buy and use on your bow. The purpose of rosin is to help the bow stick to the string. So if you've ever tried to play your violin and there's just no sound coming out, that means that your bow needs a lot of rosin. How often should you apply rosin? I recommend applying a little bit of rosin every time before you practice. This way you're sure that your bow is nice and rosined every single time and you'll never have that experience that I mentioned previously where you try to play and no sound comes out. If your bow is new or you've just gotten a rehair, you're going to have to apply a lot of rosin to get the bow hairs to stick to the string and to make a sound. Rosin comes in many different forms. The one that I'm using here today is leatherwood rosin. So it might look a little bit different from yours, but that's totally fine. And here's how you apply it. Basically, you just rub it up and down your bow hair like that in clean swipes. If your bow needs a lot of rosin, you can do something like this. So you're making sure that a lot of rosin is getting into your bow hairs at each point in your bow. So what is the best type of rosin to buy? I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. You ready? Come here, come here. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> in my experience, the difference between rosins is extremely negligible. So if you have one that you like, great. If not, here's the one that I recommend. This is the rosin I've used for years, the Gustav Bernardel. I'll leave a link to it in the description here. It's very cheap, I believe it's only $8, and it lasts for a really long time. The only reason that I stopped using it is because I broke it. <laughs> So if you've broken your rosin before, it's like a rite of passage. I think everybody does it. In my personal experience, the type or brand of rosin does not make a huge difference in the sound. If you are allergic to rosin, which yes, does happen, there are hypoallergenic rosins that you can buy, but I would say that's the only time when you would need a specific type of rosin. So like I said, I used the burner down for years. I use Leatherwood now because they were kind enough to send me some, but if you have a rosin, you're probably good to go. So that's everything about rosin, what it is, what it does, how to use it, and which type to buy. If you have any questions about rosin, drop them in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe before you go, and thank you for watching.